Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez, and in today's video, we'll be doing a gorgeous pop art design, painting some lips, a bit of an inspo from Andy Warhol, I would say. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this one, and let's get cracking. Okay, so to start off this design, I'm going to just map out the shapes that I'm going to be painting in and filling in. So I'm just using Snow White for this. And I'm going in with my 003 brush. And I, I uh, actually chose a long, long ass nail for this one because there's so much uh, beautiful colors we can include into this design. So I wanted to have a long nail now i'm just gonna start by painting a straight line now don't stress too much if it's not super uh, straight because you're going to be painting on top of that but just to mark up um, where you're going to be painting etc so i'm just doing a straight line down the nail okay and then i'm starting to paint um, the shape of the squares so i'm just going to go ahead and just paint where I want those squares to go and I think this is the size that I want them to be so just try and be quite uh, try and do that identically if, it, if possible because that's the whole point of this kind of look if it makes sense so just paint it this way and I think we can go with another line over here and if you're lazy like me you can even file the nail uh, until the end so you don't have to paint those two little um, squares at the bottom so I've uh, basically marked this up and I'm just gonna pop it into the lamp to cure it for about 15 seconds and we'll carry on so for this design we're gonna be using so many different colors so I'm just gonna be uh, prepping my palette so I've got tangy lime and I'm gonna dab a little bit on my palette I'm going to be using Sun what? Sun quenched. Sun quenched. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be using that color, which is a gorgeous yellow. And then I'm going to be using Mimosa, Spa Day. Um, just getting all the colors. I mean, Pop Art is so colorful, right? So I might as well get more colors on my palette just so I can do this design for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be using, um, is it Abyss? Abyss or, it's a gorgeous blue, that's all you need to know. <laughs> I'm gonna be using that as well. Uh, let's take a purple and that's called Wisteria Lane. Not sure why. Do you know anything about Wisteria Lane? I don't. Is that from a movie? Must be very or... purple. <laughs> yeah, might be. You never know. And I've got um, Heartbreaker, which is a stunning red. Beautiful, beautiful red. And I'm going to just put Spill It on the palette which is a nice kind of shocking pink, love it. And last but not least, Series Black. You gotta have a little bit of Series Black in your life, guys. As well as Snow White, which I have forgotten about. But yeah, that's a colorful palette, isn't it, Drew? Yeah, it looks nice just like that. <laughs> and that's the tutorial done, yeah, guys. Yeah, that's the design done. <laughs> right so i've got my palette ready 
I'm going to go in with a gel brush and just kind of uh, map out some of the squares. Now I'm going to be starting with squares then don't touch each other if it makes sense. So then the uh, gel won't mix and it will kind of ruin the design if it makes sense. So I'm going to pick up some of that orange and just kind of do a thin layer on this square because gel goes really good on gel so it's easier if I just kind of put the first layer on and then um, paint in if it makes sense. I'm gonna go and pick up Spade and just again kind of fill in that square with a thin layer. And I'm going to go in with probably tangy lime. Love that color. I'm gonna leave the last two squares for last because to be fair, there's not gonna be any detail in them. It's just uh, because there's space on the nail. So painted that. And now I'm going to go in with my detailing brush and just pick up a load of each color and fill it in. And because there's already a thin layer underneath, then it's super easy to fill this in already. It just sticks to the layer underneath. So I'm going to just clean off the brush and go into Spa Day. And then I'm going to do the same with Tangy Lime. So we've got these squares ready over here and now I'm going to just paint the rest of the squares. So I'm going to repeat the same thing that I've done earlier. So just kind of um, do a thin layer of where I want the color to go. And back into my detailing brush and the filling in begins. Okie dokie, so we've got all our colors cured. Like I said, I will fill in the last two squares at the end. Uh, I'm going to start by basically painting the midsection of the lips that we're going to um, paint on this nail. And the reason for that is if I can get that shape kind of symmetrical on each um, square, then I'll more likely be able to get this, the lips looking similar on each square. Does it make sense? So I'm going to just go ahead and paint like an eye shape on each square. And I'll try to uh, kind of get that on the sa like, same size-ish. a little bit of black above but I'll clean it with a brush in a bit so I've got that and now I'm gonna try and mimic that shape on each square so I'm just looking at it and kind of trying to copy it So I've got our black blobs um, ready and now all we're going to do is outline them to create the lips. So we're going to do different colors on each um, square. So the blue, let's go in with red. So all I'm doing now is basically painting the lip and it's so easy to paint the lip once I've got that black blob in the middle. Just 
painting here and then a bit of a cupid's bow they call it for the lip on top just uh, choose the center of the mouth of that black blob and paint just like so and I'm gonna just clean the brush and pick random colors and do that across all the squares so I've got all the lips outlined and now just before I pop it into the lamp I'm gonna do the last two squares because it drives me crazy and then we'll carry on Okay, so to continue our design, I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of detail in white and then we'll finish up. So I'm just going to kind of outline the inner section of the lips because that's going to give us like a an illusion that there is like teeth in there, teeth in there. I'm going to do the same across the whole, all of the lips. Right, so we've done the um, teeth on each lip. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of lines like on each lip just to make it pop out slightly more. And then we can top coat this. So I'm just going to add a little line here. No, that was, that was a fail. One sec, there we go. A little line here and then on the bottom of the lip just like so a teeth on the blue one. oh yeah how did that happen <laughs> dentures fell out <laughs> uh Wow, how did I miss it guys? I'm gonna outline this. I'm gonna do the same on all lips just to add a little bit more detail. Cool, I'm just, while I'm painting, just know myself, I wanna add a little bit black, just under the teeth to kind of make the inner section of the lips darker. Okay, it gives it a cuter cartoonish look. Right, so it's done, I promise. Lips are done, I'm gonna pop it into the lamp and then we are going, if I get it off my gloves, we're going to top coat this for you guys. Okie dokie, our nail over here is ready. I'm just gonna seal all of this in because it needs something to bring all of that nail together. So I'm using our Urban Graffiti um, top coat and applying a nice thin layer all over this super long nail. And then I'm gonna pop it back into the lamp for the full length of time and show you what it looks like and there you have it guys our gorgeous pop art andy warhol inspired super colorful nail art design that we've done for today i know that usually when people do like pop art they do the you know the um is it the cloud speech yeah yeah they do that and then they do dots and like you know lovely faces but i thought why not do something like this a bit different and it's fun uh but yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys thank you for tuning in and usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you all on the next one take care guys
and we are going to be using what color drew next tell me a red i was gonna say purple I'll go for purple then should we go for purple yeah <laughs> <laughs> Next time, just don't ask me. Okay, okay. Well, you do help me a lot of the times, you know. I help you to decide what you actually wanted to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 